arrival of digital technology made pen and ink obsolete. Artist and graphic designer Ishara Arnold doesn't see this as an either-or situation, and she has innovative ways of using the opportunities offered by a range of media. It's all part of a personality who finds inspiration in unexpected sources, as she explained to Karishma. Ishara invited Karishma to meet her at the Cape Town agency where she works. Ishara Arnold describes herself as a creative enthusiast. I cannot wait to meet this talented young artist and find out what gets her creative juices flowing. Before starting her career, Ishara completed a four-year BA degree in visual communications at the University of Stellenbosch. Her work shows disciplined draftsmanship and freehand flair, combined with an eye for bold shapes and colours. This aesthetic approach is complemented by a mind that's made for lateral thinking and a quirky sense of humour. While it may seem that it's all the product of instinct and inspiration, Ishara is adamant that logic is a vital part of the problem-solving process. The creative team was wrapping up a brainstorming session when Karishma arrived. Hi Ishara, how are you? Hi, I'm good and yourself? Good, thank you. Welcome to Mela. Thank you. Can you tell me a bit more about yourself? How would you describe yourself in a nutshell? You know, I'd have to say it would be a bit of a creative creature. So I always like love to work and do great things. And then I think in that is a little bit of kid and just a touch of professional. How did you go about turning your passion into a career? It's something I'm still working on at the moment, but at the moment I really get to do some amazing creative work in my day job. And then also with myself, I try to balance that with doing some illustration and things that really fulfills another part of me. Speaking of your day job, thank you so much for allowing me to tag along. Thank you. I actually have a few things I still have to do, so do you guys mind just tagging along? I'd love that. Shara, take me through a typical day at work for you. So what normally happens is in the morning there's a brief on my desk and normally there's a problem from the client and my job is to find the best visual solution for that. So sometimes that means I have to make a logo, sometimes that means a whole catalogue or a web banner. But sometimes I even get to collaborate with other people in the agency on doing something really cool. So this is a great example of that. So here I got to do these lovely illustrations for this huge book. The whole idea behind this is actually a campaign for a razor because your girlfriend always steals your razor. So inside of the book you'll find a razor hidden perfectly. That's really cool. So the whole idea is that you can keep your razor safe in something really boring from your <laughs> girlfriend. So I'm just going to take some pictures of this now because we really need to make sure we document this as best as possible. Okay, I'm ready to see you in action. a specific style of art or drawing and if so how did that develop? At the moment I do some really fine drawings of animals in all sorts of beautiful situations with broad strokes of colour and the whole idea with those is that they're really emotive and something somebody can connect with but I do think my style is something that's going to evolve with me as I get older so that's how it looks now but we'll see what the future holds. When you're not doodling, what can we find you doing? Well, I'm a big movie head, so I spend a lot of the time watching lots of superhero movies with my family and my friends. And then I spend a lot of time in Buka. It's where I grew up and I have a deep connection there. So I really just would love to show you guys if you have a chance. That would be wonderful. It was just a short walk up the slopes of Signal Hill and Karishma could soon see how the spirit of the Boer Cop came to play a formative role in Ishara's development as an artist, particularly in terms of geometry and colour. What was it like for you as a child growing up here? Bukab is a place that's really special to me. I think because I grew up with all of my family around me. Not just my immediate ones, but my cousins down the road, my aunt next door. So it's something that has a lot of meaning towards me, especially around Ramadan time where you can just share that, that with your community as well. And has the culture here has influenced your art at all? I think you can actually see a little bit of an influence in the bright colour use. I'd love to explore a little bit more. Do you have some time? Yes, of course. It is pretty here though. So pretty, oh my gosh. <laughs> After showing Karishma around some of her favourite places, Ishara offered to take her off to find some of the best coffee in the Boer Cup. Good. Good. Can we get two cappuccinos and two of these, please? Okay, no problem. Sit down. Sit down here. Sit down. Okay. Thanks. 
Shara was among 40 up-and-coming designers to be selected for the 2016 Emerging Creatives Initiative, run jointly by Design in Daba and the Department of Arts and Culture. This is a sought-after accolade and indicates her ranking as a rising star. This is exactly what I needed. What are some of the most challenging things you have to face in the graphic design industry? Managing to keep that creative flow up. Having to do one job after another, you can get a little bit in a type of writer's block, but for artists. And I think that the best way that we can combat that is just with rest and managing our time better. Any tips for budding young designers? Do everything you can. Try every course, enter every competition. You aren't going to get anywhere if you don't try first. You know, even if you fail for 90% of them, the 10% that you got, if you didn't try, you wouldn't have gotten it. Ishara, what have been some of your highlights thus far? I think designing Dabo was a big thing for me. I was able to showcase in front of on a national scale, and that was incredible. And I think that there's still more to come. I cannot wait to see your star continue to rise. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. I've had a wonderful time. Should we check in? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs>